y'all see that rock fence? For sheep way back in the day. Pretty cool. Well, good morning. Look, there's some smoke over there. I wonder if that's the mountain where the fire was. I think it might be. Alright, my shoes are doing real good. Now, right behind that little rubber part in the tip, they have a tendency to get caught on stuff like this. Any roots will hang you up. And today, this shoe met its match. Oh no! You're a bad root, bad! Why'd you do that? Oh. Well, I got new shoes coming in two weeks. Hopefully I can make do with a hole in the top of my shoe until then. I want to say these are called pink slipper, but I'm not sure if I'm correct. Looks like a little heart. <laughs> All right, I just passed mile 700 and I saw nothing indicating it. No 700 made out of rocks, no anything. What are we gonna do? Oh, hi, dear. Can you be my 700 mile marker? And just as I was about to make my own 700 mile marker, I turn around and I see this. Good job, someone. 700 miles, woo! We can't dilly-dally around here. We got two really cool things coming up. We got Dragon's Tooth, and then we've also got today the most photographed spot on the entire Appalachian Trail, McAfee Knob! Ah. Oh Lord, I need a breather. Going right up that. AT goes that away, right over that cliff, down the edge of the earth. We are going this way! Dragon's Tooth, here we come! I thought I'd be the first person here at 8.30, but I was wrong. There's some people. Is that it? Is that the tooth of the dragon? Wow. So cool. Well, this is one of those things where it's going to be scary, but we are going to be brave and do it anyway. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Phase one achieved. Now we just gotta get right there. <sighs> Look, Ma, I'm on Dragon's Tooth. Wouldn't you be proud? Not really, you'd tell me to get down immediately. Look at this. Oh my goodness, crazy. I'm gonna sit up here for a little while. I'm on Dragon's Tooth. This is the tooth, I'm at the very tippy top. Wow. Wow. Ooh, don't fall down. You know, I thought this climb was gonna be scarier than it was. That is good news. But I guess it's all what you're used to. Gosh, it's beautiful. Look at this. This is insane. My poor torn shoe. All right, now we got to get down this thing. That's usually a little bit harder. Part one done. Now we got to get back down. A true hiker will never waste snacks. Gummy peach down, we are going to eat it. Yes, we are. It's a little scrambly to get up here. And look, my first set of rebar, yay. A new term, scramble. So a scramble is where you have to use your hands, at least to some extent, to 
get up to where you need to go. Sometimes the trail maintainers put in rebar or they build steps. Otherwise you wouldn't make it up there. Okay, let's work our way down this. This is a fun little climb. This is the first rhododendron bloom I've seen. Pretty soon, they're all gonna be blooming. It's gonna be so pretty. Whoa, speaking of, they're blooming. At least some of them. This is the first one that's openly blooming that I've seen. Ooh, it's gonna be a nice week or whatever, however long they bloom. Pretty. A walk in the park. I've never seen these flowers before, but aren't they pretty? They've got little things on the end of them. See that back there? An old mill or something. Very cool. Hey, you guys. What's going on? Are y'all having a nice day? Getting some wawa? Oh, you are all so adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'll leave y'all to your hanging out in the water. It is a nice day to do that, isn't it? lovely days like this, in lovely areas like this, I just have to stop and be thankful for being here. It's been many years coming, and when things work out perfectly like, like this, it's just, you need to stop and take it in a little while, you know? So nice. Just passed a ridge runner back there. And she said that there's an absurd amount of bears right now between McAfee's Knob and Daleville. Absurd amount, that's what she said. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Maybe tomorrow's gonna be our lucky day, or today. Here comes Painless. While well, I've got all my stuff set out for lunch. We are having hummus and salami and cheese wraps, along with a Twix bar for dessert. Mm. It smells so green right now, like plants. This is what we're hiking through. All right, we've got three miles to McAfee's Knob. It is warm. I need a little snack break here. And despite this very crowded parking lot on a Sunday afternoon, there is no trail magic. Very disappointed. So we're going with the cliff bar. It's a marmot. Y'all don't see him yet. Do you see him? Where'd he go? Where are you, little guy? Maybe he ran into his marmot hidey hole. Oh, just kidding. We got four miles. Boo. It's all right. We're getting close. Unfortunately, it's going to be four easy miles. Right? Yeah, four easy miles. All downhill. <laughs> I feel like my level of stench has really risen today. Like I've, I've reached a new peak. I'm sure we haven't peaked entirely. I'm sure I'm going to get smellier than this. But uh, we have certainly made an improvement on that realm in the worst way. <laughs> also, it's one thing to be sweaty, which is certainly happening, but it's another thing to be sweaty with three layers of sunscreen on, so you're both sticky and sweaty at the same time. It's a little gross. But you know what? I will take it, because wasn't it 
just like a week ago that I was crying because it was too cold in the morning. <laughs> Give me all your heat. I am okay with that. Oh my goodness. We're getting close. I cannot believe I am a mile and a half from McAfee's Knob. <laughs> you hear about a place for so long and again, see so many photos. And to be here is just really something. I'm just, I'm real excited. <laughs> it's hard to put it into words, but um, you know, to see Virginia's Triple Crown, Dragon Tooth, McAfee Knob, Tinker Cliffs later, it's really cool. What a wonderful day, so excited. You know, my boyfriend and I have this silly term and I don't even remember where we got it from. I'm sure I didn't come up with it myself. But when you're real excited about something, just super duper excited, we call that your rainbows. <laughs> well, there are definitely many rainbows today, my friends. I'm leaving a whole trail of them all the way down the trail. Oh boy! What's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look like? Lots of people. Hey, puppers. That's it. Yeah. Wow, huh? Nice view from up here. Up over looking out at the view. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take a picture. We got that. trivia. Aspen, strap on, right, detox, and painless. So I had everybody get in that self timer shot, and as I was running to get in the photo, I was carrying Wilson, and I had a hip belt pocket open, and so stuff flew out of Wilson <laughs> as I was trying to run to get in the photo. Good times. And we are going to try to fit all three of Virginia's Triple Crown all in one day. The plan is to camp at Tinker Cliffs. That is five miles from here. So it's going to be late. It's already five o'clock. We should get there around 730, fingers crossed. Still plenty of time before sunset. You're pretty. Well, I guess it's getting to be that time of year when you're Chocolate bars melt. Oh no. I'm enjoyed down. I don't think this is the same thing as eating hard candy off the ground. Oh, is there anything that's salvageable? All right, this is a real proud hiker trash moment. I'm enjoy with a little bit of dirt that you can't brush off. Still okay. Coconut totally covers it up in the chocolate. Can't even tell. Yeah, that's right. I ate it. I ate it all. It's just dirt, right? <laughs> Tent is set up. Bethany and John have a nice fire going. Let me show you our view. Welcome to Tinker Cliffs. Lebowski tells me that 
That is McAfee's knob. And right there in the middle, y'all see that is the little bald spot where it's we took all our photos. I can neither confirm nor deny this. Could be. So like if we <laughs> like going to the trail, mm -hmm. or going to New York from the trail, mm -hmm. can you just like hop on a train? Well, no sunset like we had hoped, but still cool place to camp.